Hello, I'm Matthew with Jane Air Conditioning, and today we're going to look at two mobile home furnaces, an old one and a new one. And we're going to check out the differences and see why you'd want to upgrade to a new furnace for your manufacturer. Mm -hmm. you'll notice on these two furnaces is that this new furnace here has a plastic all white door top and bottom and the old one here has a metal door. We're going to go ahead and start with the old one. Uh, to remove the door it's simply lifting off and setting it aside. If we look on the inside here you see these are the, these are the filters a homeowner was actually using in this furnace when we removed it from their house. Um, you can see they just sort of sit in there. The biggest problem with that is they don't stay there. They get they tend to when the fan motor comes on, it pulls these off, and the dirt and dust that comes through here just ends up inside the equipment. Uh, so not a very good design for filtering. But the doors are metal, and they do last you know forever. Uh, we'll compare. We'll set this aside. The new the new door has a couple of rips on the side. Sometimes you can get it from the front if you don't have access on the side. But you pull straight out, and then the door comes off. It's got these two tabs. You can see at the top there's these two grooves. They go on to these tabs that hang down, and that locates the door so you can install it. On this here, these have a track for the filters so that it locks them in. And these are a standard 16 by 20 by 1 inch filter. So this is just a basic filter. You can upgrade these to uh, some of the ones you may have seen in the other video that I did about filters. Uh, you can do that here. Um, the only the downside of the plastic doors, these tabs here tend to break off. And, as, and also these little, these little locking tabs here can break off. They're really cheap to replace. And so, as long as you're careful with it, they, they won't do that. Uh, and if they do break off, you can get new ones. Uh, they're pretty easy to get. Uh, the other thing is, is when you hold the furnace door up, the filters tend to fall out. So, in order to prevent that, the easiest way is to just hold the filters with the bottom hand up inside the track, locate the door, and without forcing it too hard, find where they pop in and pop them in. That's the easiest way to do that. Okay. So this is side. The design of these furnaces is very, very similar. We have the controls here and here, same corner. Blower motor, blower motor. This is the motor that moves the air through the ductwork into the floor of the home where the heat or the air conditioning comes up out of the floor. That's what this motor moves. Okay? And then we have this tube here, and in here it's a little more difficult to see. It's a square box that comes down. That's the combustion air inlet, and then here it's captured behind this shroud. But here you can see it. This is actually the flue where the um, spent combustion gases leave the furnace through the top. We're going to get a little bit more into that later. Um, but basically it's the same setup. Now, this one here, if we open up the controls, you're going to see a circuit board. So those are the similarities. Now, some of the differences are, you'll see here there's, a, there's an electronic circuit board, whereas the old one uses electromechanical, so just transformers, relays, things like that. Whereas this one, everything's handled by integrated control board. Uh, it handles the blower motor, an inducer, which we're going to talk about a little bit later, limit switches, safety switches. It can store trouble codes. Uh, it's, it's 
helps you diagnose these things when there's a problem. It also provides a much safer version of the furnace compared to the old one. This one is going to be a lot safer to operate. Okay, another difference you're going to see on these is the blower motors. You see this one's a lot smaller than the new one over here on the left. The motor that's in here is also a significant improvement in efficiency. The amount of energy you can save on this new motor is up to 75% uh, less electricity than, than the old motor. That's a big difference. Um, you can see that the housing is physically larger. That helps us move more volume of air compared to these older furnaces. Uh, these don't perform very well for airflow, not at all. Uh, you'll notice that difference right away in your home. Okay, so what's behind this lower door on this new furnace is a gas valve assembly. The burner is inside of here. You have electronic ignition, no longer a pilot light. And down here, this is where a coil for an air conditioning system would go. Um, same thing over here. Gas valve. Here we have a pilot light. Here's the view window so you can get in there and light that pilot. Okay. And then here's the cabinet where the, uh, an evaporator coil would go for an air conditioning system. Again, the same sort of design. But the difference you may have heard, this one has a pilot light. This one does not. Now a pilot light uh, uses gas all the time. That can cost you between four and twelve dollars a month in your gas bill just to keep it lit. These tend to be larger pilot lights too, so they can cost a lot. Um, and in the summertime, you you have this thing heating the furnace from the inside. This pilot light. Now that, in additional air conditioning costs, can be up to twenty bucks a month in in additional air conditioning costs just to keep that pilot lit, plus your your additional gas usage. So it's a huge energy savings to get away from pilot lights to an electronic ignition. Now there's a couple other things that are different about the furnaces that enable that transition from a pilot system to an electronic ignition system. One of those things being is the new furnaces have what's called an inducer compared to the pilot which was constantly heating inside the furnace would create a draft for the combustion chamber so that air was constantly flowing through there for combustion. This isn't to be confused with the air you're breathing in your home. This is a separate uh, air source to help mix with the fuel to burn the fuel. Uh, so that comes down through here, through this channel, into here. But over here we have, inside of this chamber is a fan motor. It actually pulls air from outside, blows in there, and with the electronic ignition, mixes the fuel, the electronic ignition, and the air to get flame. So that's a major difference between the two furnaces. Uh, so there's some additional safeties on this thing to make sure all that stuff is working properly. Okay, so going back to that pilot versus no pilot, there's a difference in the flue as well. What these are called are called roof jacks. Now this is where the flue gases that have been combusted you know, and spent. Um, the heat's been extracted from them, and now we need to get those dangerous gases out of the home in a safe way. We use a roof jack. Now, the old furnace, again, had a pilot light, and the pilot light kept a draft all the time coming up through here. When you don't have a pilot light, the flue is cold when the furnace starts up. And so you have to, you have to create that draft using the inducer assembly, but also you need a flue system that is going to uh, complement that system. So the designs are different. And it's often the case that people are not replacing this at the same time they're replacing their furnace. You really need to do that. There's a big difference in the design on these things for that air fuel mixture to be proper so you get a nice clean burn and you don't have reliability problems with your furnace. Um, you'll see how these things work. And this is not quite unique to mobile homes, but it's where we see it the most often. We actually have a concentric vent system where fresh air is brought down this outside pipe. It comes in through here, through the outside pipe. That's used to mix with the fuel. And then the spent fuel gases, the combustion gases, go out through the middle pipe to this top vent. Okay? It's a very important part of the furnace. It does need to be replaced 
when you replace your furnace. Of course, at J and American Conditioning, we do that every time. One of the nice things about these new blower motors on these furnaces is that they can change speed based on what the circuit board is telling it to do. What that allows these new furnaces to do is operate multi-stage air conditioning equipment. So here we have a couple terminals that allow us in here to control that blower if we have a two-stage air conditioning system, which is a huge improvement over the old one. So this blower will actually speed up and slow down based on the demands of the air conditioning system. That's gonna help a lot with your comfort level in the home and your energy savings. Mm -hmm.